Hello everybody, my name is Hans. I'm a metal detectorist from Germany and if you are interested in my finds, just go to my channel. It's Terra Germania. I hope to see you soon. Well, as you can see I'm in woodland, not my natural territory. I tend to like fields, hills, coin shooting sites. I'm never on the beach and I'm very very rarely in woodland. It looks like it's going to rain. I was going to go out on my bike again. I decided not to. So I brought the Deus with 11 inch coil. I'm going to go in some of my local woods. It, it actually borders the land where I've got permission owned by the same landowners. But I never really go in them. I've had a couple of digs and they've been shotgun cartridges. The brass ends of them. But here, I've actually got my first decent find. I've got a little musket ball. Give it a little bit of a clean up. Yeah, it's under deciduous trees, so it's well encrusted with black stuff. But I'd pretty much say that was a musket ball. It was reading ooh, anywhere between 82 and 86 on the Dios. And it came up from approximately four inches deep. Got a very solid signal here, reading 86 both ways. It's quite near the top. Now this is a very steep bank side, and we've got a really deep pool in the river behind me there. Approximately 300 meters away up the hill in a field there used to be a mill and a few buildings so I'm hoping that this was a track down for fishing purposes and that somebody's possibly lost something here there's a tiny little bit of flat land below me as well which I'm gonna give a go but all I've found so far is just lumps of really rusted iron on the way down here this is the first good signal it's not to say it's a good target but it's a good signal well, hey, it's a coin. It's an old penny of some sort. Very, very black. I'll give it a bit of a rub, see if we can find out who it's from. Well, I can read one penny on the back of it. See if I can get a date. That's quite late, 1940. That's a George the Sixth. I doubt you'll be able to see anything on that. Mm, maybe it's just Britannia. 1940, George the Sixth Penny. That's a good result because I'm not expecting to find anything where I'm going today. And I've already found a musket ball and an old penny. So I'm off to a good start. Well, I'm near the bottom of the hill. Probably about 10 feet down from where I've just found that penny and I've got another good target here. This one is reading 88 both ways Again quite near the top Oh get in there <laughs> It's another coin. I don't believe it. I honestly do not believe it. Oh God this one looks Georgian looks like a Georgian hapenny It's a one for the tumbler. Uh, I can't even see which way the bust is pointing. I think it's pointing right, so it's either George the first or George the third. As you can see, there's very little on there, but I'm pleased with that. I think I might give this a bit more of a thorough search. I literally just walked down, straight down it. I think I'll head off to the sides a little bit and you never know, more might turn up. Nope. Nope, more up there. But off that bank side I had two coins and a musket ball. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm going to head upstream now, literally up the stream, because there's one, two, three waterfalls there, one of which 
has got a bridge over it. Back in the day, people used to chuck coins over bridges, just for good luck. It's not on a very well used track, it's pretty much just a footpath, but it's a really nice gorge and the stream bed is bedrock. Can't remember whether it's got any cracks in it. If it has got cracks in it, there may be coins there. So I'm gonna have a look. Again, I'm not expecting anything. If I do find something, it'll be a bonus. How dark does it wanna be? It's only late afternoon in an English summer, but it's definitely going to rain. So I'm in possibly the best place in a wood. I don't want to get soaked and wet. I'm quite near the first waterfall now. I'm not expecting there to be anything there, but there's a little bit of flat land above that in the wood. Might pick something up there. You never know. There's a signal here that's leaping around all over the place. It's going from mid 70s to late 80s. That's normally a good sign, but I've dug a hell of a lot of trash on the way up here. Uh, it's, it's embarrassing to say what I've dug, but I've dug a lot of old rusty iron. And there's more rusty iron. It's all over the place. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like a lump of copper for something or other. Give a good signal though. So this is the first waterfall behind me. This isn't the one with the bridge over it. When you see the one with the bridge over it, you'll be quite impressed because it's, it's a beautiful scene that really can only be appreciated from the stream. When you're at the top looking down, it's, you know, it's pretty good. But when you're at the bottom looking up, you can see right under the bridge, you can see the craftsmanship that's gone into making that bridge just from stone. Now the stream from here up over, up to that second big waterfall, is pretty much all bedrock, exposed with nice big cracks in it. It's possibly about half a mile, it's at 600, 700 meters between here and the big waterfall. So I'm hoping I can pick something up in these cracks. Well, I'm very near the waterfall now, and I've had absolutely nothing. I have the bottom of tin cans, the top of glass jars. That was from the sides. I've had absolutely nought at all from the stream bed. It's probably about a 50 meter stretch from just about there to around the corner to the waterfall. So I'm hoping there's something in the cracks there. Actually, one more thing, when I climb up the waterfall, there is a footpath that goes up to the village that I used to live in. I'm going to give that a quick go as well. I have found a couple of Victorian coins on there when I've just quickly blasted over it. So that's another possibility. That's a huge signal. I think that grey thing could possibly be a big lump of lead. We shall see. Yep, looks like a lump of lead. It's a huge lump of lead and I just wonder whether that was a weight at some point. Very heavy. That's the first non-ferrous thing that I've found in the cracks, so that's a good start. And just up from where I found that lead is a man-made tunnel. Look at that, coming straight out the bank side. That's possibly where the water flowed. And I'll show you where it would have flowed from in a few minutes.
another signal here and I can see what that is it looks like a little nut that's it just there I'm not going to bother digging that out I can see that it's a nut Another decent target, we're even 73 that way. And mid 60s that way. <whistles> Looks like that one's in a crack as well. Ah, see what that is. That one's a 2 2 bullet. And to be honest, that's probably off me. I used to come down here and shoot the icicles off the sides of these gorges. In the winter, you can get massive icicles hanging down here. Especially off the end of here. They can be like two or three meters long. And I used to come down and shoot them with the 2 2. So that'll probably be from me. Unfortunately, there's a big tree falling down here. So you can't really appreciate just the beauty of that waterfall and there's a lovely stone arch there which is all grown over I'll try and get better footage when I'm closer but that's a it's a really beautiful bridge and there's a footpath goes along the top you can just imagine people chucking stuff over there it landing on this very shallow and yet sometimes quick moving water and getting stuck in all of these cracks well, that's another good signal that one I've got headphones on, but you're probably going to be able to hear that. Reading 82, 83. That's extremely loud. I think that is actually a coin. It's definitely something coin shaped in there. Pretty difficult to see, but I'll, I'll just zoom in. And I'll show you what I'm seeing. Just in the middle of the screen there. Looks like a coin on end. really need a pair of pliers I can hear the people who dig beaches saying you need pliers you need pliers well I didn't think I was gonna find anything in these cracks so I didn't bring any pliers but I know that's exactly what I need if I can't get this out I might have to come back to it no oh, no it's coming it's coming right what have we got Looks like a hairpenny. What's the date on there? 1932, so that's George V hairpenny. That's a pretty decent find and I'm pleased with that. If this was a very busy footpath, I can only imagine what would be lying in these cracks. There'd be all sorts in here. Well, I didn't find anything else in any of those cracks. But this little hunt has filled me with loads of confidence. Because on one of my permissions, there's a, a, a bridge, like a little humpy back bridge, near a 16th century mill that was built in the 1500s. It's on a drover's road. Oh, there, there could be a hell of a lot of stuff underneath that. It is the sort of place you can imagine people flicking coins over. This isn't so much, but I still managed to find one coin. And that one coin has filled me with so much confidence for this other site. And if the river goes way down, I'm going to get into it. I really should have a waterproof protector. Haven't got one. I've got the e-track though, so I'll be able to get it all the way down pretty far to the control box and see what I can find there. So I'm really looking forward to that hunt. I'm going to climb up this waterfall now and have a quick look underneath the arch just in case anybody's stashed anything under there and forgotten about it. And then I'm going to have a little walk up the path.
No, there's nought unfortunately. I did locate two nice holes which would be great for stashing stuff, but they were empty. So it's a little disappointing, but just look at that scenery, absolutely beautiful. Look at that gigantic boulder and how it's just been incorporated into the bridge, creating like a huge natural buttress to stop anything hammering the side of the bridge. Absolutely awesome. And on the subject of the side of the bridge, I think I might as well give this a go as well. Because you never know. Sometimes people building things would stick the odd coin in the structure. Sort of like a signature or maybe just for luck. Yeah, there's no in it. Yeah, no in that one either. Well, all I can hope now is that something comes up from the path. I don't know whether you can make this out, but a lot of this path is actually cobbled. And it's cobbled all the way up here. And with the path being cobbled, there's always the slight chance that some coin would have fallen out of somebody's pocket and lodged between the cobbles. Believe it or not, this ditch here is an old mill race. And about 200 yards upstream, there's an old dam which is about knackered. It used to come flying along here. And I presume the path had a, a bridge over the mill race. So it used to come under where the path is now, straight along here. And this big indentation in the earth is, I think, like a holding pool. And I'm speculating that what would happen is this would fill up, uh, and obviously bear in mind this was four or five hundred years ago, it would be a hell, hell of a lot deeper than it is now. This would fill up. Roughly here, you'd have a sluice gate, and when this holding pond was full, you'd lift up this sluice gate, the water would come flying down here, down another little sort of mill race, and in here, oh it's difficult to see, but in here you've got a really deep gorge and that's where the big wheel was and the water flying over the end of here would drive this big wheel for the mill that sat somewhere in these trees and that would do all the grinding of the corn and that was hundreds of years ago and unfortunately I haven't found any traces of it possibly apart from that lead weight but that could have come from anywhere uh, there's just so much rubbish around here it's unbelievable so all of that's totally knackered and overgrown now and short of having some archaeological survey we'll never know exactly what happened here but there's definitely something gone on and there was reputed to be a mill down here so you've got the Holden Pond you've got the mill race you've got the big drop into the big hole where the wheel would have been all the parts are here so I don't see any reason to doubt that Yep, I don't want to go too close to this edge because there's a hell of a drop just over here. And behind me is a little jail where the local witch used to keep children before she cooked them and ate them. And these stones are slippy as hell with it being so shaded. I'm not going to go right to the edge but I'm just going to try and show you just how big this waterfall is. That's a tiny old waterfall. I was going to climb up this one and get it on film, but I'm glad I didn't because I would get soaked. That's a hell of a pool down there. And I was going to stand on this stone, but this stone here is actually overhanging. And one day it's going to drop down there into that gorge. I was going to go into a different wood because it was still raining. And then suddenly the sun got out, the rain stopped. So I thought I would just have a slow walk back home through the fields and I noticed that this one did have grass in this high last week all of that's gone 
And the minute I don't do a live dig, I find a musket ball. So that's two musket balls for the day. A nice find. Good. Well, it's started raining again, and it looks like there's some heavy rain coming. I've got rumbly guts, so those two things combined can only mean one thing. Home time. Time for some tea. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I didn't find much. I think there was only three coins, two musket balls, but I certainly had fun finding them. And it gives me great hope for that site that I mentioned before, below that old bridge. And what I forgot to mention is, that bridge, where people would have chucked thousands of coins over, over the centuries that it's been there, is approximately four to 500 meters below a battle site. So there would have been musket balls flying all over the place in the river, above where the bridge is. Chances are, They've been washed down and there may even be musket balls in there as well from the Civil War. So I'm really looking forward to getting on that site. Now as I mentioned in the previous video, I do have a new project going to help you promote your channels. If you'd like to send me a video between 2 and 5 minutes long, less if you want, more if you want, on anything related to metal detecting. Might be tips of how to find sites, tips of how to get permission, Tips on the Deus, tips on the E-Track, tips on the T2, how to clean finds, tips on the Garrett Ace 150, equipment reviews, anything you want to do, put a little bit of information out there and also advertise yourself, do it. I'll put it on one of my upcoming videos and it'll help to ferry viewers across to your channel. And viewers, it'll also help you because there'll be so much more information in there. Things that I haven't thought about. And whilst I do always like to try and put as much information in my videos as possible, I sometimes forget because I get carried away with the detect. I'm often on a short hunt because I've got to pick the kids up or I've got to go back to work. So people who are watching, who've got a channel, who want a little bit more exposure, make a video about anything relating to metal detecting. I think it'll be great for you. It'll be great for the viewer. Thanks very much for watching. Catch you next time. I don't know how well that's going to come out, but we've got a double rainbow happening here. Bottom one's pretty good, the top one's fairly faint, but that's just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. My house is right underneath it as well, in those trees. So it's being framed by the rainbow. Glorious. Ah, oh, man. Another crumpled lump of thin copper. What a bugger. That was close. And that's the difficult thing about showing your action shots. I've got to do everything two or three times. And I'm sure one day a passerby is just going to find a body lying there and they're going to think, what the hell's he doing lying there? And by looking at the footage, they're going to be able to tell. Now then you can take me lucky charms, but you'll never get me pot of gold.